of what you're going to see on the inside. The show was just starting. It's just commencing. The price of admission is 25 cents a quarter, one-fourth of a dollar. Now, don't go home and have to tell your friends and neighbors that you haven't seen the great, the famous 10-in-1 show featuring the famous Kai McKee dancing girls. How many, brother? Where's Slim Phillips? Slim Phillips is on the inside. Uh. Folks, the show is just coming. Just a minute here, brother. Just a minute. If you're going to go on the inside, you'll have to have a ticket, Bob. Uh, don't bug me, Bob, you young whippersnapper. You tell him it's Gabby Whitaker from California. Gabby, you old son of a gun. Slim, you old rattlesnake. Oh, go on, Gabby, you haven't changed a bit. You're damn tootin' I ain't, and I'm just as full of fight as ever. What are you doing back here? Business. You remember Sue, don't you? Hello, Mr. Phillips. Not little Susie Farnham. <laughs> well, yes. you're all grown up. <laughs> Say, I was terribly sorry to hear about your father. What happened to the circus after he passed away? Well, it's in winter quarters now at the ranch. That's one of the reasons we're here, Slim. We need your help. Is there some place we can go and talk? Of course, right inside. You'll see also Moroccan moments, an exotic review participated in by real Moroccan women. That's enough for nothing now, folks. Don't be bashful. Step up and get your tickets right now. Of course I remember your father borrowing money from Ripley, but I also remember him paying it back. Well, we can't find no proof it was paid. Unless we do, Sue ain't got no circus, no ranch, no nothing. What's the matter, Unc? Oh, hello. Uh, my niece, Patty. This is Gabby Whitaker. I do, ma'am. Hello. And Sue Farnham. Hello, Patty. It's nice knowing you. Same here. Sue's father and I used to be partners. It's too bad you didn't stay partners. We wouldn't be in this fix. So you've got an idea. Pee-wee, how'd you like to go to California? California? You mean you might go back with us? Huh? Well, if I'm on the right track, we might have a surprise in store for this Mr. Ripley. This show closes here Saturday night anyway. Oh! California, movie stars, cowboys, palm trees. Miss Sue Farnham. Yes. Telegram, miss. Thank you. Anything important? It's from Bill Ripley. He says he'll meet us at the station. Big hearted, ain't he? I've been thinking, Gabby. Maybe you better not tell Ripley why I'm here. I won't. Come to think of it, you didn't even tell me. How are you figuring on outsmarting that polecat, Slim? Well, I don't want to get Sue's hopes up until I'm sure, but I think we ought to be able to find that receipt somewhere. You know how Tom Farnham was about business. Probably didn't even have the payment recorded. Well, Sue and me's looked everywhere. Canceled check, paper, ain't nothing like that around the place. I've just got a hunch that we'll find it in the safety deposit box that Tom and I had in the Cabrilla Bank. Hey, that's one place it might be. Can you still get in it? I think so. It was in both our names. Well, we can't get to the bank today. It'll be closed time we get in. Next stop, Cabrilla. It's a big place, isn't it, Mr. Ripley? You can't even see it all from here. <laughs> We didn't know anyone was on the road. 
Why didn't you stop traffic? Those riders might have killed someone. Ah, uh, get themselves killed, masquerading as bandits. I had a notion to reach my 45 like I did the Gabby, time... Gabby, you must tell them about it sometime. Don't think I won't. <laughs> well, you'll pardon me. We'll take it again, boys. Gee, that was pretty close. Is everybody all right? Oh, yes. We're just fine, thank you. Say, you're not Roy Rogers. That's right, ma'am. Oh, gee, I think you're wonderful, Mr. Rogers. I see all your pictures. Gee, the way you galloped in there and grabbed those horses. Oh, well, my Well, I'm glad gosh. nobody's hurt. You know, you never can tell about accidents. Sometimes the shock sets in later. Now, if there's anything I can do, I'd... Thank you, Mr. Rogers. We need you. I'll let you know. Shall we go? Oh, gosh. Shake it up, Roy. They want to take it again. What do you think of that? I never even got her name. You never... Oh, my. Come on, or we'll never finish. Gabby, I wonder who put the tent up? I don't know. Well, uh... Oh, thanks for the lift, Bill. It's always a pleasure. You gonna be with us long, Mr. Phillips? Well, I can't say as yet. Well, anyway, I'll see you before you go. You probably will. Well, I'll be seeing you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. We rented the show to a movie outfit. Yeah, they're making a picture right here. Yeah, and we're all working in it. And who do you think the star is? Roy Rogers. Yeah, well, we figured you wouldn't mind. They're paying us pretty good. Gosh, what's the name of the picture? Bells of Rosarita. You ought to see that big Spanish set they built alongside the creek. Ah, them phony movie cowboys. Even muscling in on us here. Yeah, but they're finishing up today. That's why we're rehearsing. We've got to get the last scene in the picture. <laughs> oh, Gabby, I suppose it's all right. Oh, uh, this is Mr. Phillips and his niece, Patty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Patty. We'd better go in and clean up. We'll see you later. Come on over and watch us act. Might do that. Bye. 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 What a gang. They all work for you? 
No, they're part of the family. Dad's sort of adopted the kids one by one. Orphans? Every one of them. Their folks were all in show business with Dad. Do you remember Joey Long, the clown? And that little freckle-faced kid is his boy. The one on the end is Tommy Lewis. His folks did the high wire act, remember? Why, of course. I remember them. Say, you two have responsibilities. Yes, but they're a wonderful responsibility. Them little fellas run the place, like a boy's ranch. Any homeless kid's welcome. We figure they just ain't a bad American boy. That's right. All right, in a little bit. That's good. Now move that other reflector over. Hey, Lou, get it hotter on the doorway. Where'd that playback guy go? Get out of here, will you? Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours. We're ready. Okay. Places, please, everybody. Well, this is a surprise. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Hello, Miss... Uh... That's Sue Farnham, and I'm Patty Phillips. Gee, we're glad you met us. I mean, we're glad to meet you. We just came out here to watch. I hope you don't mind. We're tickled to death. Glad to have you. Now, Miss Farnham, if you... Come on, Roy. Uh, oh, hiya. Hello. Uh, uh, Mr. McDonald's yelling... Take it easy, Bob. We're having a barbecue tonight, and it sure would be swell if you could come over. Oh, sure. We'll be glad to, won't we, Sue? Mm, well... That's I... fine. We'll be expecting you. All right, roll it. Action! too, Rogers. That was a good scene. I'll have to see this picture. Oh, thanks. I hope you do. By the way, I understand one of your men said you were interested in some ranch property in this neighborhood. <laughs> well, I've always wanted a ranch. I thought while I was up here, I'd kind of look around. Well, I'm going to put this place on the market in a couple of weeks. Oh, is this your place? 
Well, practically, I'm going to take it over. Oh, now, now, Roy, what do you want with the ranch? You, 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 you know I'm allergic to horses, and besides, you've got a nice place already. Well, in case you're interested. Well, thanks. I'll think it over. Excuse me. Say, what did he mean about selling this place anyway? Gosh, I hope it ain't true. Well, Miss Farnham, you're not leaving, are you? I should say not. Roy, will you come? You know, I love that scene. You were wonderful, just wonderful. You were wonderful, too. Oh, I will... I mean, I was. Uh-huh. The way you galloped in there, oh, it was oh, just... Oh, shucks, that was nothing. In the first part of the picture, I have some swell scenes. The first, I come right... See, I, now I come right down... Don't worry uh, about it, Bob. I, well, I will. Yes, I will. In the first part of the picture, I come riding into town, see? Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, the heavy, that, that's the villain in the picture, has stolen the Borax works away from the girl. Now, the girl... Hey, Rogers, where are you going? The villain stole the Borax works. Oh, that's wonderful. And then what happened? Uh, it's up to me to get the Borax works back to the girl. Uh, couldn't we... Couldn't we go out and sit in the swing? I'm just dying to hear what happened next. Why, well, sure. That is, I'm... I guess so. Now, uh, where were we? Well, you were just about to get the works. I'm just about to get the works. I... I'm just about to get the works, so... <laughs> you still got them pictures? Yes, sir, right in my bag. I'll go and get them. Why, I've even got one of you, Gabby, without a hair on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boy. Say, Gabby, that Ripley fella don't own this place, does he? Oh. Of course not. Why do you say that? Well, he was telling Roy Rogers that he was going to own it pretty soon. He was trying to sell it to him. Oh, he was, eh? Well, kids, if that side went... Hello. Up... Look here, young fella. Don't go try selling something you don't own, and you ain't never going to own this here property. I wouldn't be too sure of that, old-timer. like he means business. He's up to something, all right. You mean he's going to take the place away from us, Gabby? Oh, what are you talking about? Scat now. Go on. Get out of here, the whole kit and caboodle of you. <laughs> Like the morning feeling fresh as the dew When you're going where the stater's to behold The cows are in the meadow and they give me the move As I go singing down the road 
My little dog is tagging right along at my heels. He's so happy that he's hopping like a toad. And trigger, he's a prancing cause he knows how I feel as I go singing down the road. The sun is grand, my face is tan, and I'm so carefree and gay. And as I hike, I feel just like a school kid for a day. And when my day is over, there's a girl I'm to meet. You see, but that's another episode. My heart and I are stacking up a dream's kind of neat as I go singing, singing down the road. Charlie. Well, I didn't get a good look at him, but I was coming around the corner just as they were dragging him out of the house. I ran after him, but they started shooting. Come on, boys. Somebody jimmy this one. Same here. Let's get the horses. Car! Let's get the car started. Let's get the car. We'll never catch them now. We might if we get them before they reach the highway. Would anyone want to kidnap my uncle? I don't know, Patty. and let the sheriff handle it. Yeah, might as well. Well, thanks for trying anyway, boys. That's a serious charge, Sue. Bill Ripley ain't exactly the kidnapping type. I didn't say he did it, Sheriff, but he's the only one who had a motive. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, I'll have a talk with him. Thank you, sir. Shug, you sure they didn't get Gabby? Well, when Charlie saw him, they only had Mr. Phillips. If I only had Gabby here to talk to... Somebody get a doctor. Look, I'm bleeding to death. Looks to me like strawberry jam. Yeah. Uh, strawberry jam? Well, don't stand there like a bunch of idiots. Get me a handful of crackers. <laughs> I'll get them critters if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> me, Gabby Whitaker, known as the killer of the Klondike, the rootinest, tootinest, shootinest wildcat of the West. Me! Tied up by a Who are they? Who? How do I know who? They snuck up behind me when I want looking. They ain't no two men alive. They ain't no five men alive could hogtie Gabby Whitaker. Unless he was knocked unconscious when they done it. I remember the time I was holding a fort bone. There was 50 wild Indians around me. There I was. Both guns blazing. I looked around... Uh, look... Uh, Oh. Better snap it up, Roy. Crew's waiting for us. I was just thinking about last night, Bob. There's something funny about those men making off with Phillips. I wonder why they took him. Who knows? Whatever it was, it's none of our business. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Hello, young fellas. Come on in. Oh, hi, Roy. Uh, hello, Jimmy. What can we do for you gentlemen? Oh, nothing. We just heard you were leaving and dropped over to say goodbye. Oh, gee, that's mighty nice of you. Well, bye, Roy. Oh, bye. Bye. So long, Eddie. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Tommy. So long, fellas. <laughs> Is there anything else we can do for you? Well, uh, well it's... Yes. Uh, 
We was wondering if you sing that song about Texas before you go. You mean now? Yes, sir, right now. All right. Get me a guitar, Bob. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, way around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal my baby away. She's the lovin'est baby around Texas, around Texas, around Texas. And the fellas all know it in Texas, that's the reason I worry each day. Hello, hello, fetch that lumber pilot high. Gonna build it to the sky. Hello, hello, Big job to do, I know, but she's mighty sweet and so. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, way around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal my baby away. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal your baby away. She's the loveliest baby around Texas. Around Texas, around Texas, and the fellas all know it in Texas. That's the reason you worry each day. She's got that Texas sunshine in her smile. Thrills the cowboy, kills the cowboy. She's got those lone star moonbeams in her eyes. See what I'm up against? My troubles have just commenced. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal my baby away. Well, thanks a lot, boys. That was fine. So long. Uh huh. I knew you were up to something. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long, fellas. Goodbye. What's on your minds, boys? Well, we've seen all your pictures, Roy. They're super. Especially that last one. Oh, you mean the one where I come crashing through the roof and I... Yeah, that's the one. That was sure swear where you go out and capture the guy who's trying to take the ranch away from the girl. Boy, if you hadn't come along, I guess you'd have lost the ranch, wouldn't she? Well, I guess you would, all right. Yeah, well, it's been nice seeing you, fellas. Now, if you'll... Uh, uh, they're waiting for us downstairs, so if you... If you... We've been thinking, Roy. Well, come on out with it, Jimmy. Well, as long as you're already here, we was thinking maybe if you'd help Sue and us, she wouldn't lose her ranch, just like in the picture. But look, fellas, that's, uh, that's just in the picture. It's all make-believe. Roy and I are actors. We only save the ranch because, because the script says so. Now, if Hold it, Bob. You mean that somebody really is trying to take her ranch away from her? The ranch and the circus and everything. Roy, will you please? You boys run on back to the ranch. Bob and I will come up later. I don't know what we can do for you, but we'll sure try anyway. You mean you'll help? You mean you try to do something? Sure. Oh, gee, yes, yeah, Roy, well, thanks Roy. a million. See you later, bye, boys. Bye, bye, bye. Now look what you've done. We've got to be heroes. What can we lose? I kind of like it. Yes, I could tell the way you looked at her. Oh, come on, Roy, let's go home. You know I'm allergic to horses. You'll pull through all right. We better tell the gang not to wait for us.
Slim Phillips? I'm sorry, Sue, but we've been over every foot of the desert within 10 miles of here, and there isn't a trace of him. Sure beats me how he got swallowed up like that. Well, thank you anyway, Roy. I guess there just isn't much anyone can do. Mr. Ragney, I owe you an apology. Kids told me what you'd done, and now I know you ain't just a hero on the screen. You fellas will have me. I'd, I'd kind of like join up. Well, thanks, Gabby. We'd be glad to have you. You know, I'm a rootin', tootin', shootin' cowhand. And my trigger finger's just itching to get even with them varmints. Careful, Scotty. You'll tear that canvas. Ah, uh, what's the difference? We won't own it after this week. Is it as bad as that? I'm afraid it is, Roy. Sue, I wish you'd let me... Thank you, Roy. We'll pull through somehow. If these was the good old days, we could heist the big top up anywhere and make money enough to pay off that skunk Ripley. Why don't you? <laughs> these aren't the good old days. Then we had more than just a tent and a few props. We had a show to go with it. Big names, big acts. Say, could you have this tent up in Cabrilla by tomorrow night? What do you mean? I mean, could you be ready to put on a show if you had a show and someone to attract customers? Well, I don't... Gabby, what do you think? You're darn tootin' we could. We'll hold everything. Hello, operator. Could you get me the Republic Studios in North Hollywood, please? Republic. Oh, hello, Roy. Fine, thank you. Yes, they're all here except John Wayne. Yes, Don Barry's here. He's on stage 10. I, I can't ring there now. Oh, sure. Hold on and I'll send a messenger. All right, Don. Let's try a rehearsal and uh, start it from that line. There's nothing more I can say. You want me to get a little suckle? Yeah, a little more tempo, please. Okay. All right. I think we can shoot it now. Can I talk to Mr. Berry, please? What, at a time like this? Hey, Mr. Berry, Roy Rogers is on the phone. He's calling long distance. Roy Rogers? Don! Be right with you, Eddie. Hello, on that long distance call, Don Berry is ready. Hello? Yeah, how are you, Roy? Sure, what's up? Well, I got a couple more scenes, then I'm going to leave on my vacation. Uh-huh. Sure, I'd be glad to. All right, I'll get there as quick as I can. Hold it, Ferguson. Cut! Okay, boys, right over here. Oh, Sunset, telephone. It's Roy. Roy Rogers? Yeah, right over here. I think that he would... Uh... Yes? It's for you, Ellen. Thanks. Yes? Oh, hello, Roy. No, I don't start for a couple of weeks. Sure. I'll be right up. Republic Studio, front gate. Oh, hello, Roy. Uh, Bob Livingston just left. He said he was on his way to his ranch. Yes, Roy, I'll see if I can catch him. Well, George, see if you can catch Bob Livingston. He's on his way home. Right. Hello, George. What's the matter? Got a message for you, Bob. The office says it's important. Good. What's up? Read it. I guess the boys need some help. You're right. Say, Annie, uh, get me Bill Elliott's ranch, will you? That's fine. Now spin the rope. Spin it. Big spin. Big spin. Wow. Big spin. Come on, big spin. That's fine. Excuse me, Thunder, I'll answer the phone. Hello? Hello, Bill. Say, do you suppose you could get up here right away? Oh, fine. 
Get in touch with the casting office and have them send up some circus acts and a lot of equipment. I'll put Thunder in the trailer and leave right away. Come on, Thunder, we gotta help Roy. Oh, Sue, I don't know what to do. Keep your chin up, honey. Highway patrol's been looking, too, and not a sign of them. No news of Phillips. Uh, that polecat Ripley's got him corralled summers. If I had my way, I wouldn't monkey with no law. I'd stick my 45 in his ribs and let him have it. We got trouble enough around here without this happening. Well, we've got the show ready, I guess. You think we can get any customers on this short notice? Pray to do it. When we get through dragging them bandwagons through town and telling about all them western stars we got coming, why, we'll sell twice as many tickets we got seats. Hey, Shug, hurry up with that paint. Coming, Gabby. I wish you'd get busy and do a little work around this place. Oh, I can't do any work and poor Oscar on my mind. He ain't had a bite in two days. Keep your mind off that overgrown canary. And get out the painters and get them posters. Then I want you to start plastering up all over town. All right, but my heart ain't in it. Hey, look at this. Watch for a huge street parade. Say, isn't there some old city ordinance that prohibits circus parades? Yeah, I believe there is, now that you mention it. I'm pretty sure there is. Show must go on. Now you get up there with the rest of the fellas. I'm gonna miss that critter. Sure, sure you are. Sorry, Miss Farnham, but if you folks are planning on a street parade, you can't go through with it. We can't do what, Sheriff? Well, just a minute. Why can't we? Listen, Tom. We're going to put on a show, and we're going to put on a parade. That's the only way we can sell tickets. I know, but law is law. We have a town ordinance here that says circus parades are prohibited. Sheriff, don't you realize we've got to have a parade? And if we do decide to parade, who's going to stop us? I'm afraid you'll all be arrested if you try it, Mr. Rogers. I'm sorry, but I don't make the laws. <laughs> we got an ID. When the circus came to town, all the clowns were tumbling down. The tigers roared, the lions looked bored, and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack, the pride and each and every pack. Oh, the monkey got away, grabbed the man by his toupee. The old folks smiled, the kids went wild, and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and Cracker Jack, surprised in each and every pack. The 
acrobats gave us a fright. You closed your eyes and held me tight. Someone laughed, we turned to see. The crowd was laughing at you and me, but we didn't even care. When they all began to stare, we hugged and squeezed. The elephant sneezed and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack, the prize in each and every pack. When the circus came to town. Hold it, Rogers. What's the matter, Sheriff? You're all under arrest, Rogers. I told you there were no circus parades allowed in this town. Oh, but this isn't a circus parade. Then what do you call it? This here's a funeral procession. You're trying to be funny. Funeral procession? Who's dead? Poor Oscar. Back there in the bandwagon. I suppose you've got a burial certificate. Yes, sir. Signed and sealed by the doctor. Everything's in order. A duck. So you see, Sheriff, this isn't a circus parade after all. The only reason we were playing this kind of music is because, well, Oscar loved it so well. It was the poor critter's dying wish. He says to me just before he laid down, Gabby says, says he, no sad and sorrowful music when I'm gone. I want folks to be happy and gay-like. Them was his very words, Tom. Shall, shall we go ahead with the burial ceremony? Better wait outside and keep watch. Nobody will be around. They're all up at the circus grounds. It's going to be a sweet job trying to find a receipt in here. Never mind that. Check the trunk. I'll go through the desk. Gabby, the car looks familiar. Kind of looks like the one them fellas use when they snatch Phillips. Say, Gabby, how did you see it? You told me you were knocked out and hogtied. Who, me? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, somebody's coming. Hello. Hello there. We were just looking for you. How'd you know we was here? Went up to circus grounds and they told us that, uh... I see. Hey, Rogers, wondered if you're still interested in the place. Heard you're going to leave in a couple of days and thought we'd better drop down... Oh, this is Mr. Maxwell. Howdy. Hi. Hello there. As a matter of fact, Mr. Ripley, I have been thinking about this ranch. If you've got a couple of minutes, I'd like to talk to you about it. All the time in the world. Well, we're going in the house and pick up a couple of things. We'll be back in a minute. Right ahead. What are you talking about? You're not thinking of Bob. I've got a hunch they're up to something. When they leave here, they're a sense to talk about it. And you're going to listen into what they have to say. How am I going to do that? Get into the back of the car and ride with them. <laughs> Roy, you've been seeing too many movies. Now listen, Bob, I thought you wanted to help. Well, sure I want to help. Okay. I'll get him away from the car. Gabby, you give him a hand. The boys are getting their things together. Now, Mr. Ripley, what kind of a deal are you prepared to offer? Well, I haven't exactly set a price. I'd like to show you around. Well, let's go. Come on. Let me go steady, you, Bob. I'm more fit, I tell you. No, no. 
Roy wouldn't like it, and besides, this is a job for a young man. Well, I'm younger than I look. I got all the fire of flaming youth. Sorry, Gabby, I'm gonna have to refuse you. You can't refuse me. Me, Gabby Whitaker, that stopped a herd of stampeding cattle all by myself. There were thousands of them coming right at me. In front of them was a wild bull. What do you suppose had done? What did you do, Gabby? I just stood there calm like and throwed the bull. You throw. Look, I got it. Look, look. I, I, I'll choose you, fair and square. Now then. The one that gets the straw stays here. Look, Roy told me that I had to do it, and I'm going... I'm going to give you the best of it. I'm going to give you the first choice. Go ahead. Go on. Man gets straw stays. Gee, I didn't realize it was so late. I'm afraid we're going to have to make it another time. Suppose I get in touch with you in the morning. That'll be fine. All right. Well, see you in the morning, then. Thanks for coming over. I'll mention it. Hello, boss. Where you got him? He's out in the back, tied up. How long we got to keep this guy here? Till I find the paper I'm looking for. If this Phillips knows where it is, maybe we can make him talk. That's just what I don't want you to do. If he finds out why he was snatched, it'll tie me in with it. I've got to be kept out of this thing, understand? Sure, we understand, but what are you going to do with him after you find what you're looking for? I don't know yet, but all you got to worry about is keeping him here. I'll let you know later. That's the way you want it. around here. Yeah. How do you like that? You mean that all the time you were in the back end of that car, you didn't hear a thing? Well, I could hear the motor roaring. I can still hear that dad blame thing. You haven't any idea where they took you. Let him alone, Bob. You had no business letting him go in the first place. I asked you to go. I know, Roy, but, well, we drew straws for it, fair and square. Hey, there was one place where there must have been a 20-foot drop. That's where I got this bump on my noggin. I'll bet that was the old dry wash. Yes, sir, that's the way they went. Well, let's go and see if we can pick up their trail. I ought to be able to do it. I can remember ever. Oh, oh. Bump. Well, 
Here are their tracks, all right. It looks like the tracks paid out here. Say, Gabby, do you remember if the car went straight ahead after you came through the wash, or did it make a turn? Oh, I couldn't say. I bounced around too darn much. Let's see now. I do remember a few minutes later, we must have passed close to a skunk. And I mean close. Fiend Huey. That ought to be an easy scent to pick up. Yeah, well, let's fan out and see what we can find. tracks again. Hey, heading for that right yonder. This is it. The old mine shack around the corner. Why in tarnation didn't I think of that before? Well, let's leave our horses here and go on foot. There may be trouble. shot through that window just for sight. Hold it, Gabby. If Phillips is in there, you might hit him. Well, we just can't stand around and see all the shooting one-sided, can we? Well, we're just in time for supper anyway. They got a fire going in there. I was just noticing that. in the picture once. Sit down. Stay where you are. Hey, throw some water on that fire before we're all smoked out of here. Get out that barrel and fill it up and don't try to get away. We got you covered. Come on, get a move on. Hold it, Stokes. He's going for water. Twenty men out there, and you've got the place surrounded. <coughs> We're choked to death in here. <coughs> Take the guns, Gabby. You all right, Mr. Phillips? Yeah, now, thanks to you, Roger. Well, what'd you find out? For one thing, Lawson and Goss haven't talked yet. And as far as the sheriff knows, it was just a kidnapping job. I did a little snooping around that circus tent, too. Phillips was talking to the girl, and from what I could make out, that receipt you're looking for is in the vault over at the bank. That means they'll be at the bank the first thing in the morning. Unless we, uh... Helio, Helio, Helio. Herdin' cowboy, hop on your pony, sing and ho. Helio, helio. Start riding now, boy, we'll make San Antonio sing and ho. Helio, helio. Long weary days and a dusty road to travel, but we'll make the boss pay for all this battle driving cattle. Light-hearted, carefree, trail herdin' cowboy, sing and ho. Helio, helio. Moving doggies, time is a-wasting, singing ho. Helio, helio. I'm not a 
impatient, but why don't you hasten singing ho? Helio, helio, you ought to know that a certain someone's waiting. You ought to know that to captivate and confiscate and arms will enfold this trail herding cowboy singing ho. Helio, helio, one little doggie strayed from his mother singing ho. Helio, helio. The place is packed, and we're still selling tickets. I don't know where we're going to put them all. Well, gee, that's swell. You don't know what this means to me. Maybe after the excitement's all over, I can, well, think of some way to tell you how grateful I am. It's nice to be here, Sue. Well, I'm glad Roy asked me. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. They just blown the bank vault. There were about six of them. They shot one of the sheriff's men and took off cross country. Well, gang, if we were making a picture right here, it's for somebody to holler X. Let's well, go! Right. Right. Gabby, you get the show started and we'll be back as soon as we can. How do you know he'll be back? Come on, Gabby, it's time to start the show. They can't leave me behind. Get somebody else to start the show. I'll bring them back single-handed. Oh. behind us. Got the gas tank. Hey, look. We haven't a chance. Scatter. Let's take them, boys. They're racing. One to a man.
All right, come on out. We got you covered. what I've been looking for. Come on, get up there on the horse. Get going. Looks like everybody got their men. Well, here they are, Sheriff. Well, I'll be doggone. Say, Roy, this is just like one of your movies. Yeah, Roy, but your pictures always finish with music. Holy mackerel, the show. Come on, boys. Sheet was somewhere. <laughs> All right, stand by, boys. Introducing tonight's biggest attraction, Republic's Great Western Stars. And here they come. Sunset Carson riding Silver, Don Barry riding Cyclone, Bob Livingston riding Shamrock. Lane riding Banner. Wild Bill Elliott riding Thunder. And Roy Rogers riding Trigger. Come <laughs> 